The work of a librarian is organized, predictable, and usually indoors. But every week, Clarice Eppinger leaves the comfortable quiet of her post at North Nashville Library for this. How did the frog get away? Yeah, yeah, frog, frog, yeah. Yeah. The noise and excitement of story time at this child care center is not part of Eppinger's job. It's her mission to help even the youngest children develop a love of reading. I believe that the earlier a child learns to love to read, the better they uh, will succeed and graduating from high school or continuing in school. In the springtime, frogs decide they want to come out because they've been hiding all winter in the mud. I choose a theme for each week, and I want it to be fun as well as a learning experience for them. Anyone know what letter frog begins with? This librarian could promote the power of reading just by making sure plenty of books are on the shelves and available to check out. But Eppinger is convinced her story time strategy has more impact. I think if they can see someone enjoying reading to them, and it's not like it's a task, something I have to do, then they will want to read also. I learned how to in all the books she reads. Proof enough for Eppinger that taking story time on the road can launch a journey to academic success. Knowledge is just a gateway to so many places. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can't travel, you can travel through books. Uh, you can learn how to do anything by reading books. And don't forget to keep reading, reading. <laughs> <laughs>